aí, e aí pessoal de Nara, também pra vocês mais uma parte de Dragon Age Inquisition e. Cassandra. Nossa, vamos falar com a Cassandra antes de continuar lá pro coisa aí eu vou ver com a Vivienne. Fala comigo. Oh. You're kind of a force of nature, aren't you? When I need to be. It's impressive. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? <sighs> What I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. You don't think I'm the Herald of Andraste? I think you were sent to help us. I hope you were. But the Maker's help takes many forms. Sometimes it's difficult to discern who it truly benefits, or how. What's going to happen now? Now we find allies to help us close the breach, if that is even possible. And if there are consequences to be paid for what I have done, I pay them. I only pray the price is not too high. Parabéns pelo aquele que criou essa cerveja, porque olha. You didn't have any choice, didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. You've said you believe you're chosen. Does that mean you believe in the Maker? Ah, é uma boa pergunta, né? Eu acho que sim, Cassandra. I believe he exists. That's comforting. Surely the Maker put us both on this path for a reason. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. Eu sou tipo assim, Jesus, você tá entendendo? Só que mulher e negra, mas enfim. Nossa, cara, eu fico olhando de costas, eu lembro muito a Hulk. Aliás, tem mais alguém aqui. Tem o Cully. Cully, Cully, Cully. O maluco. Ah, não, não é ele. Eu sei que é daquela que eu You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. At least I got everyone's attention. That you did. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. You left the Templars for this. You believe the Inquisition can work? I do. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh, 
<clears throat> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Ai, gente, que fofo. Só pra lembrar que a Sandra é hétero, então não tem nem como dar romance. Eu só pego o coraçãozinho por um único motivo. É que a gente é um pouco mais aprovado por eles. É aquela chance maior, sabe? Mas, é, pode esquecer. Aqui você acha que ia pegar meio mundo todo mundo aqui, que nem fez em Dragon Age 2. Pode esquecer que aqui é só alguns, né, Varric? Você tem alguma coisa pra falar comigo? Você sempre demora pra falar comigo, Varric. Tem mais uma, uma pergunta pessoal? Jogo, me ajuda. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Ah, não, é só isso mesmo. Não tem nada de importante, né? Ok, vamos ver se eu sou. Espera, tem alguém aqui perto dele. É hoje, hoje não é vidinho de VPN. Desculpa aí, galera. Hoje é vidinho de conversar com todo mundo. Uma volta do cacete. Deixa eu só ver se é alguma coisa importante. Ok, o que, que eles precisam? Obsidiana, tá. Não sei onde arranjar isso aí. Cadê? Não, não é você, né? Ah, ali ele tá aqui. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, What is it, if not a game or a cruel joke? Don't ask me, I'm as baffled as you are. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. I'm sorry. Her death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. So, okay, so. Estou tentando ser uma pessoa legal, sabe? Não estou sendo muito filho da puta aqui, porque... Primeiro que, como eu jogo pela primeira vez, normalmente eu acabo sendo a nice... Nice girl? <risos> nice guy aqui no, nos jogos. Então... Isso aí. Acho que a grande maioria do povo está sendo nice guy, não? Solas... Nossa, você surgiu aqui, né? Tem alguma coisa diferente para conversar comigo? Greetings. Não, obrigada. Ah, eu queria sair da conversa. Tá, beleza. Acho que dá tempo de fazer aqui e depois a gente vai lá na VPN, beleza, galerinhas? Que eu preciso, na verdade, fazer uma nova armadura. Não dá fazer aqui a de eterno. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. 
It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. Or you could stop bickering and make a decision. I agree. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave... The same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. That does sound odd. I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Wow! Ah, é você, Madi. Eu nunca falei com você, né, mulher? Vamos falar um pouquinho? Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How far is your quest to seal the breach? I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the chant of light alone. She had generals, advisors, even her husband for a time. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. I will try to follow in Andraste's footsteps as best I can. If you like. But Andraste forged her own path, guided as she was by her visions. Look to Andraste for guidance, but ultimately the Maker has made this your task to fulfill. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. I don't believe I've had the chance to speak candidly with the revered mother. Can you tell me about the Chantry? I presume you mean deeper questions about the organization itself. Even in the circle at Ostwick, you should have been taught the basics. Ah, obrigado por tirar uma da minha cara. There were calls for an exalted march to put down the Mage Rebellion. What was your opinion? It was ignorant gossip. An exalted march only succeeds when it carries the will of the people. Even then, it cannot be undertaken lightly. People are too easily frightened. We cannot destroy everything they fear. An exalted march is justified only against a true threat to this whole world. It is an offense to the Merkel to use it as a political bludgeon or as a means of spreading the chant of light. What about the exalted march that conquered the elves? That is a hotly debated matter. 
in some circles of the Chantry. The elves had conquered Montsemard and threatened val Royaux itself. They were not helpless victims. But even then, Orlais was the only nation to provide troops. It was hardly an exalted march of all the faithful. The Maker wishes his world to spread by example, not by war. We win no converts with blood. What is your stance on magic? Andraste put it simply. Magic must serve man, not rule over him. However, those words must be put into the proper historical context. Andraste led a rebellion against the Javinta Imperium, whose magisters controlled most of the world at the time. Even then, she never called for all mages to be put to death. She believed in peaceful coexistence. Why does the Chantry allow only human women to become priestesses? The official doctrine is that elves and dwarves have turned further from the Maker than humanity. And as for men, the chant holds that they are more vulnerable to anger or passion. But in truth, it is simply political. Added after Andreste's death, like too many of our beliefs. If you don't believe these restrictions are what Andraste wanted, why haven't you tried to change them? Has the current state of the world not taught you the folly of fighting too many battles at once? I chose to use what power I had to help peasants forgotten by the nobles of Orlais. I believed there would be time to address their inequality under the Chantry once we had saved them from starving. Farewell, revered mother. Make her go with you. Nossa, cara, gostei dessa conversa aqui. A gente sou... sabia que era só mulher. Eu achei parado que era só mulher que tinha na Chantry, mas eu achei, sei lá, que era tipo freirinha. Caramba, que da hora. Quem é você? Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Who are you, soldier? Comissius Aklasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Orlais and Navarra. We've got word of some Tevinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bulls Chargers can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. Que? What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull? He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front. He pays well and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Pera, I don't bull? Are you skinny for war? What can your bull's charges offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royo. We've got references. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. I think she'll do good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Mmm, Iron Bull. Hehehe. Ah, sim, aqui acho que é dentro. Deve ser a Josephine, Lilia, Varric. Quem mais eu falei aqui? Deixa eu ver o mapa. Nossa, Josephine, tá, é onde eu tô indo, Cassandra, Cunha, Barry, beleza. Só falta com a Josephine terminar e aí sim no próximo e vídeo a gente vai... Pera aí, a gente vai falar com aquela mocinha lá. Ah, Lady Trevelyan, may I have a moment? Você tá falando comigo? Yes, Ambassador. I'd like to discuss your parents. A little sudden, but it's time someone made an honest woman of me. What? Very amusing. This is serious. I'd like to dispatch a courier asking the bands of House Trevelyan to align themselves with us. What are your thoughts? Should we approach your family for their formal support of the Inquisition? É uma boa pergunta, hein? Eu não sei nada meus pais. The bands of Trevelyan never turn down a partner if there's something in it for them. From the way my relatives scramble for status, you'd think we were all legion. That depends. How much do they like gold brocade? Val Royo has noted your lineage. It gives the Inquisition some legitimacy, although not so much as we'd hoped. Why not? 
you are from Ostwick. Our legion nobles consider the free marches somewhat quaint. Even though I'm a mage, that doesn't give them pause. They're not an unfamiliar sight. Mages from noble families are given more leeway. Besides, Ostwick Circle had a reputation for being rather sedate. You've never been bored until you've lived in a tower of studious, well-behaved mages. Even our circle's full was quiet. Everyone just... left. No wonder the people's faith in Templars has been shaken. Templars at Ostwick were even-handed enough. A few were almost friendly. Commander Cullen would be pleased. For a man no longer with the Order, he takes its faults quite personally. <laughs> this place is no bastion of civilization. Not like the Circle. I hope you don't find the living conditions in Haven too drastic for someone of your station. This can't be what you're accustomed to, Ambassador. One adjusts. I stay busy. It helps take my mind from our surroundings. And the cold, and the wildlife, and the lack of civilization for miles around. <sighs> Why anyone lived here before we found Andrasis' ashes, I cannot imagine. Having a few leagues of ice between me and whoever wishes me ill can't hurt. Do not say that too loudly. Chancellor Roderick is still here. Until next time, my lady. Say it. Greetings. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? Commander Cullen came to mind. The commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I'm grateful he's in charge of our sending army. Still, he does sometimes resemble the man with a hammer to whom everything appears as a nail. I was thinking of Cassandra. Seeker Pentagast is a princess of the Kingdom of Nevara, although that barely seems important to her. She was not interested when I asked if we might make use of her royal relations. Still, the Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. I was thinking of Varric. Oh, I could listen to his tales for hours. He actually let me read a chapter of his next book he's writing. Oh, my friends would be sick with envy if they knew. It's excellent, but a bit different from his past works. Only three beheadings so far. <laughs> Let's speak later. Goodbye. Muito bonito. Ah, não, só tem três. Tá, chega de falar com vocês. Mas é isso aí, pessoal. Ficando por aqui. Espero que vocês tenham gostado de todas essas informações com todo mundo aqui do nosso grupo. E eu vou ficando por aqui. Fui!